So I bought a refurbished MacBook and after a few months of using it, I kind of regret it. Not because it's slow, not because it's damaged, but because I found out about one component that has a limited lifespan. And once it fails, your entire MacBook becomes e-waste. So in this video, I will show you what I discovered and why you need to check this before buying any refurbished MacBook. So I bought this MacBook because I needed a macOS device for development. I was working on some iPhone apps and the only way to build or test them on an iPhone is with a Mac. New Macs are insanely expensive and since all the models like this 2019 MacBook Pro can still run the latest macOS, I decided to go with a refurbished one. And that is exactly what I did. I picked up this 13 inch 2019 model with an 1TB SSD an 8th gen Intel i7 and 16GB of DDR4 RAM for only 350 euros. And honestly, it worked great. I didn't really have any issues besides the touch bar flickering sometimes, but that didn't bother me. Everything else was perfectly fine. At least until I checked the SSD health report. That is when I realized this MacBook has a built-in time limit. Which is something a lot of people don't know about SSDs. Every SSD has a limited number of times you can write data to it. So it does not last forever. Every file you copy, every update you install, every app you open, it all slowly reduces the lifespan. And modern SSDs actually track this. There is a built-in counter that shows how much data has been written to the drive since the day it was manufactured. This measurement is called TBW and it stands for total bytes written. TBW basically tells you how much of the SSD's life has been already used. So when I looked at the SSD health report on this MacBook, I checked for two things. The percentage used and the total amount of data written. And here's what I found. So this SSD reports that it has only been used around 10% of its lifespan. Which sounds great, until I checked the right data. Because when I look closer, this SSD has been already written 223 terabytes. And the thing is, I don't actually know if it was already that high when I bought it, or if it jumped up to that number after using it for a few months. So I quickly asked ChatGPT to calculate how long this SSD would last if it continued writing data at the same rate it shows in the smart log. And the answer kind of surprised me, because at that right rate, the SSD will reach the end of its rated lifespan in roughly 3 years. 3 years until this MacBook becomes completely unusable. Because once the SSD fails, you can't replace it. You can't replace it because it's simply soldered directly onto the mainboard. Well, technically you can replace it, but it's extremely difficult and it requires special equipment and replacement chips themselves are not cheap. A compatible 1TB NAND chip for this MacBook costs almost 200 euros. That's nearly 2 thirds of what I paid for an entire laptop. So it's just not worth it. Now in my case, I actually got pretty lucky. Because the SSD still reports at only 10% wear. The only real concern was the write data, which means I need to be a bit more careful with how I use it for now. But if you're thinking about buying a refurbished MacBook, you absolutely need to check the SSD details before you buy one. Look for listings that show the SSD health, the TBW or at least proof that the drive hasn't been used heavily. Because once the SSD in a MacBook like this wears out, that's it. The whole laptop becomes e-waste. Now before I end the video, I want to say a quick thank you. Because we recently hit 1000 subscribers, which is honestly insane to me. So to give something back, I'm doing a small giveaway. I'm giving away a 15 euro Amazon gift card to one of you. And I know it's not something crazy, but at least I want to give something back to you for the whole support. So if you want to enter, just drop a comment down below and make sure you subscribe. I'll pick a random winner in the next video. Good luck on that. And seriously, again, thank you so much for the 1k.